Despite the fact that it kind of sounded like my kind of film, I never really got around to watching The Pacifier, which was released in 2005. But then I found it on Disney+, Plus. I thought, let's give it a go. And I feel like it was very slow starting. The first 10 minutes were really boring. And then maybe the, the next third or so was kind of up and down. But then once it really got going, it really became really fascinating. I really enjoyed it. There was quite a weird twist towards the end. I, w I won't spoil anything here. But it just kept me on my toes and kept me engaged. It was very funny, very entertaining. Once it established its tone of voice, it was really engaging. So it was released, as I said, in 2005, directed by Adam Shankman, written by Thomas Lennon and Robert Ben Garant, and stars, among others, Vin Diesel as Shane Wolf. And he was a, well, he is a Navy SEAL, um, but he is now in charge of effectively babysitting the five plumber children who were who are the children of a now deceased government scientist and there's apparently some top secret thing inside of his house and there are threats from outsiders trying to get in and, and, and steal this this secret so Shane is drafted in to protect these children and to begin with these children are wild they are unruly they are selfish they range from about 16 down to I think I don't know, eight months, ten months, I don't know how old the baby is, but it's a baby. And we have this big, burly, well-built Navy SEAL looking after these children. And I just, I think it's so fantastic. I love that concept. It's not unique. We often get a lot of very butch, not necessarily seemingly maternal or paternal um, characters looking after children. And suddenly they have to become quite childlike in their play when they interact with the children and try and engage them and it, it's really great to see Shane as a character going through that transition and, and seeing him seeing him develop as a character as he looks after these children but also seeing the children as characters develop because of the benefits that he brings. It's more action-packed than I expected but it's not it's not over the top. Maybe at certain points, it's a bit unbelievable and a bit far-fetched. But for the most part, it's generally quite believable and very enjoyable. I like the narrative development. As I said, it's, it's full of surprises and you know, kept me on my toes. Most of it wasn't really that predictable. We have a great cast as well. Alongside Vin Diesel, we have Lauren Graham, who plays Principal Fletcher, who is brilliant. Um, we also have Brad Garrett, who is the vice principal, and his role in this is brilliant carol kane as helga fantastic all of the children in this are absolutely brilliant um i don't know if i have a favorite maybe zoe who's played by Brittany snow uh, i thought she was pretty great and julie who's played by faith ford honestly i thought they were all fantastic the film is really good as i said a little slow to start took a little while to get going but once it got there, but once it got there, I think it kind of really made a difference. Referring to all the children as read this and read that, I just thought it was hilarious because he kept it up throughout the film and I'd forgotten what he'd done and I just, great fun, great dialogue, very well performed. Really, apart from that small kind of blip at the beginning where I wasn't really sure if it was going to actually go anywhere, the pacifier is much better than I expected.